Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today, we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic and we're going to cook a whole red snapper. So let's get started. Okay, I've lit a fire in the firebox here of the Classic. I've got my Divide and Conquer flexible cooking rack in place. So I'm going to put the accessory rack in the low position and I'm going to put half of the heat deflector on the right side here and then I'm just going to use the stainless steel laser cut grate and that's what we're going to cook our fish on. Uh, I don't have anything I'm going to cook with it on this side so I'm just going to leave that open and we're going to let the grill come up pretty hot today. I'm probably going to try to get around 450 and in order to do that I'm going to leave the bottom vent fully open and I'm going to close the slider on the top vent almost all the way and I'm going to leave the daisy wheel fully open and we'll let that settle in there. If I need to warm the grill up I'll open the slider more. If I need to cool it down I'll close the daisy wheel. So while our grill's warming up let's go get the fish ready. Okay while our grill's coming up to temperature I'm going to get our fish ready. I have sliced a couple of slits down the side here and what I'm going to do to start with is I'm just going to squeeze some lemon juice over the top of this fish and I'm going to get a little bit in the cavity as well about like that and then I've got a couple of slices of white onion that I'm going to stuff inside of here and then I've got some fresh dill and fresh rosemary that we're going to stuff in the cavity as well. And then I've got some lemon halves or lemon half slices that I'm going to stick in each one of these slits that I've cut. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some salt and some fresh cracked black pepper and that's all we're gonna do as soon as our grills ready we're gonna take this up okay guys our grill is up to temp so I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna take a couple of these onions that I had left over and we're just gonna spread those out here on this stainless steel cooking surface because we're going to cook the fish on top of these onions just about like that we're going to set our fish in place and then I'm going to drizzle that bad boy with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and we're going to let it cook Okay, we've been going about 30 minutes here, so I'm going to have a look at this, see where we are. It's not quite ready yet. It's almost there. This fish is almost completely done. I'm saying maybe five more minutes, so uh, we'll let it roll. Okay, we've let this go for about another five minutes, and it's ready to go. So I'm going to take this off the grill, and then we're going to have a taste. Okay, guys. I'm going to take a bit of this off. This is just really nice and flaky. It's peeling right off the bone. So let's let's have a taste of this. Mm. That's amazing. Fantastic fish. The lemon is there. The dill is there. The rosemary is there. The salt and pepper. The onions coming through very lightly there. But man, that's perfect. Give this a try. Let me know what you think. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe. Follow us on Twitter, at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.